In this example, we are given that a calorie meter of water equal in 100 gram cools in air in 18 minutes from 60 degree centigrade to 40 degree centigrade. And when a metal block of mass 60 gram is placed inside the calorimeter, now it cools from 60 to 40 degree in 20 minutes. Now we are required to use Newton's law of cooling and we need to determine the specific heat of metal. Now just to simplify the analysis, we can use the average form of Newton's law of cooling. So we can write by Newton's law of cooling, we use delta T by delta small t is equals to 4 Ea sigma Ts cube upon ms multiplied by average temperature of body minus Ts. Now in this situation, in the initial situation we are given that delta T by delta T we can write initially it cools from 60 degree centigrade to 40 degree centigrade in 18 minutes. So we can write 60 minus 40 by 18. As numerator will always remain constant as uh, the calorimeter dimensions won't change. So area remain fixed. Surrounding is air. So TS is also fixed. So we can substitute just a constant K over here. And always remember that as we are analyzing it numerically, we are not substituting the negative sign as we are taking the magnitude of rate of cooling. So in this situation, it will be K upon MS. MS is obviously for the calorimeter and its water equivalent is 100 grams. So we must take this MS to be 100 multiplied by average temperature as it cools from 60 to 40. So average temperature we can take as 50 minus TS. And here MS will be the water equivalent of calorimeter that will take as 100 gram. Now after placing metal block, It is given that it takes 20 minutes to cool from 60 to 40. So the equation will become 60 minus 40 by 20 is equals to K by, obviously as if a metal block is placed and uh, it is given that the mass of block is 60 grams. So we can simply write it MS which is 100 plus 60 S. So total heat capacity of the system will be that of calorimeter as well as that of metal block. So it will be 100 which is the water equivalent of calorimeter and for the metal block it will be 60 S and multiplied by same as 50 minus TS because the average temperature is still it will remain 50. Now if we take this equation as 1, this equation as 2, we can simply use 1 by 2 and uh, the uh, dividing these two equation will result 20 by 18 is equals to 100 plus 60 as divided by 100. On simplifying this, uh, we'll get 1000 is equals to, this can be cancelled as 10 by 9. So this will be 900 plus 540 as. And on simplifying, uh, the specific heat of metal block will get as uh, simply 10 by 54, that will be 0 0.185 calorie per gram Kelvin. That will be the answer to our problem. Here you can see that I have taken the units to be in calories because uh, for water I have taken mass and grams and a specific heat here I have taken as uh, 1 calorie per gram degree centigrade. That's why the final units uh, must be in calories per gram Kelvin or calories per gram a degree centigrade.